Hey YouTube. So today I'm going to talk about, is it really a bad situation? I think a lot of times people, including myself, get so wrapped up in wondering if something is really bad. You know, I'm trying to get away from that because it only makes me feel more anxious. Like, oh, what was me? Why did this situation have to happen to me? So now after looking at some other people's videos and doing a little research on my own, I'm trying to be more careful uh, about the words that I use. So instead of saying, is this a bad situation? I'm turning it around to say, hey, how can I transmute this situation that seems to be bad to something that's working together for my good. So for instance, like a lot of people are off because of the coronavirus. People may say, oh, this is horrible. I got so much time at home. You know, what am I gonna do? Some people, a lot of people are affected financially and I'm not trying to minimize that because I've been one of those people that's affected by it. But I had a decision to make. Do I wanna sit around and cry and oh my God, what am I gonna do? Again, if that's you, I'm not trying to say anything bad about you. But what I'm saying is, I I just don't want to be that person. I just want to try to stay positive during this time and say, wow, okay, I'm off right now. What can I do differently? I always uh, like to be an entrepreneur making money for myself. So is there a way that I can turn this situation uh, around for my good? Can I try to find a way to be a, an entrepreneur at this time? How can I work for myself? What can I do? So instead of turning, so instead of focusing on what's wrong, I'm trying to apply that to look at what's right. You know, some other people, you may hate that job and you probably have been wishing that you find something, else, something else that those people lay you off. And then now that it's finally happened, you've gotten this way out. Now you're probably sitting at home saying, oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh, my, I really miss that job. No, you don't miss that job. You just missed the security that you thought that job gave you but because of this coronavirus you're finding out really that you didn't have any security at all with that type of job so really your desire just got manifested but not in a way that you like it so now you're probably tripping out and freaking out but hey you've been wanting this so now what can you do to capitalize on it you know you're not the only one going through a situation is there what are you passionate about what can you really make money about it's a lot of people out here that got kids at home and they probably still got to go to work. If you love kids, maybe you can babysit. Try to think about how you can flip this so-called bad situation into something good for you. Now, take me for example. I have been saying for the last few months, oh, you know, I'm so tired of working these two jobs. I don't have time to exercise. But guess what? I don't need to have an excuse not to exercise now. So I could have just came home and sat here and again fit, fit trying to say, oh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just too um, stressed to work out. No, for the last few days, I've been here hitting the yoga. I didn't do it today, but I'm back at it tomorrow. I've been here hitting my yoga, taking advantage of this time. You know, I'm not going to sit back and trip and wonder about this bill and that bill. I'm using, I got my, I got my scriptures for that. I got positive affirmations for that. And I got me a song money coming to me something like that I, I should have remembered that lady's name but that is my song right now helping me get through or at least one of the things so yeah I'm just trying to focus on you know my my health or building up my immune system things like that just want to prosper me because for me the, and, and for a lot of us that this is a season a new season and no this new season didn't usher in the way we expected it quite unexpected but how can you make the most of it some of you are all at home now and you got your kids with you. You've been dreaming of spending more time with them or probably not because I work in the school. So I know some of you probably don't want them there. I mean, at home anyway, but that's another story and another video. But anytime, let's, anyway, let's pretend you want them there. So you got them there. I know you might be stuck in the houses, um, bring out the old board games. It's other ways that you can turn that so-called negative situation into positive. You know, teaching your kids, you know, things, um, how to count money money, you know, how to budget, because I'm telling you, they're not learning in at school. So th these are the ways that you can transform your kids' lives. You know, some of you um, are artists and you probably haven't pulled out that guitar or that bass in a long time. Here is your chance. You can write about what, what you're going through right now and make a hit, make a hit song if you're also a, a songwriter. You know, some of you haven't pulled out your paintbrushes. You haven't tried to submit your th that short story or that novel that you've written. 
written. This is your time. This is that new season for you. Bad situation, what? No, it's a, a time that we can turn around, turn around things. Again, this is not to minimize the problems, but since you are at home, you might as well do something. Just like I was thinking, oh, what, you know, what can I do? Not in an anxious way, but just sitting down to figure out a plan because you can turn you can turn this situation into something golden, but instead of just worrying like, oh my God, oh my God, get you a piece of paper out and say, what it, what is it that I'm passionate about? What is it that I can be doing in doing in this time? Like me, I started thinking, what what can I do, you know, to try to bring in income? Even though my channel isn't monetized, you know, um, and it takes a while to build up your channel and to, to get things really going in a positive direction. And w one thing I thought about is like, wow, because of my busy schedule of working two jobs, I haven't been here on YouTube. So let me go back on YouTube. Now, true enough, I haven't made any money for this, ch this channel, except for shout out to the, the lady, you know who you are, who um, gave me a, a, a donation, I believe like a week ago, but that was my first and only donation. So very thankful to you. Thank you. Um, from doing these vi videos. So my thing is, I never know what's going to happen with this channel. So even though the money um, hadn't come in yet from this channel, except for the one donation that I'm thankful for, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm going to sit down and do, do this here because it's still me doing something on my own terms, such as, such as I look at it as being an entrepreneur. I look at it as doing something that is allowing me to be creative. So I'm not just sitting here at home worrying about things so yeah it's a time that um you can reinvent yourself a time to do something different some of us need more sleep i know i was one of them i was used to um having my own schedule then i end up going back to work and then my whole schedule got knocked off so it was like being sleepy all the time even after months and months of getting up at a certain time still sleepy so now i'm you know back to sleeping longer you you know doing more things that i like to do catching up on a lot of netflix shows you you know, I've got some books that I want to read, books and audio books that I'm listening to about um, money because I understand that I could have been more prepared during this time. So it's like, how? what can I do to improve myself, to make myself better? And that's the challenge that, can, that I give to you. Are you somewhere moping around? Are you somewhere feeling sorry for your about your life? Are you somewhere thinking, how did God allow this to happen to you? Or how did the universe um, make a mistake and put you in? this situation and why more people have more money and opportunities than you i'm telling you no you have to transform your way of thinking it's all about the way we think contributes to how we feel and then that also contributes to our behavior so that's why i encourage you to think about this as a new season that you are a new creation with the opportunity set before you how do you want to use these opportunities some people, we feel like um, situations, we call them bad and we may say somebody left you. You know, instead of thinking about, you know, being so upset is why did this person leave me? What's the matter with me? No, it's not always about that something's wrong with you. I mean, there are some, cra some of us that's a little bit crazy disturbed, so it might be you. But let's just pretend you're one of the um, sane people. Okay, so let's say you're sane. All right, so the problem's not you. You know, you can look at that situation. What good can come out of this situation? How can I flip this around? You know, I would think about the negative things about that person and see that now that you're free, you can open yourself up to new ro relationships, even if it's romantic or even if it's just a friend that ghosted you, left you or whatever. You can say now, hey, now that this person is gone, what did I learn from that good and bad? Now I'm going to apply that to new relationships. It's a new season, new opportunity, new days, new days for you you know maybe this is a maybe this is a good time to catch up with some friends that you haven't spoken to or texted in a while this can be any situation that you want it to be so instead of us looking at situations as bad these are situations where hey how can i turn this into something that i can overcome and how can i work this out for my good and when i mean for your good is saying can this situation increase increase my creativity can this situation bring me any 
any type of money. If you're married or if you're in a serious relationship or you got kids, can you turn a so-called negative situation into something that um, blesses your family where you all are in a better situation before this so-called negative situation happens? So again, it's just all about how you perceive things to be. So with that, I say leave your comments in the um, comment section. I love to hear what you have to say about this. Again, it's not about minimizing, but it's just saying, hey, put yourself in a position mentally where you can t take charge of your life. One thing I'm, I like to say is uh, this phrase I used to hear, carpe diem. Maybe I'm saying it wrong, but anyway, in English, it means seize the day. And that's what I'm asking myself. So Myra, how are you seizing each day before you? My goal is not to work for somebody else all my days. Of course, it's okay to do it when you're starting, when you're starting off and you're trying to get some things done, but that's not what I want to do forever. And a lot of the, the other job that I'm still working, we're going, um, now we're having to think outside the box and to go online. So this is pushing me to see how, how can I shake things up? I can't always be accustomed to just doing the things that I was doing yesterday because yesterday isn't working. A lot of people are self quarantining themselves. So how can I still make money while being in the house? So I could have sat around and thought, well, I don't want to do therapy uh, on um, online or over the phone. Oh, that's so stressful. That's so dumb. I don't feel like doing it. But you know what? If I decide to think about things that way, then that's really going to hurt my pockets. But I have to say, hey, even with kids, working with kids have to learn to be creative, you know, over this um over the video in order to successfully do therapy or you could lose hours, you know, saying, oh, well, I got to wait to the Corona pass so I can see the kids face to face. It's like, no, what, what can I do differently? Because if we decide that we want to hold on to our old ways of thinking, we're going to get rolled over by when life goes in a different direction. So I refuse to be one of those people who are so, um, stuck in my ways that I can't see an opportunity when it comes before before my eyes. All of us have opportunities. So I'm asking you now, what opportunity is before you in this situation? Choose today. Choose life. Choose to live it more abundantly or choose to be at home scared, not knowing what you can do, or pick up that phone and make some re reconnect with some people you like and go ahead and just seize the day. Have a good one. Bye.